Tendo <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Come, Sabonga <laughs> Ruka, Boys, 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 Bed, bed, Akagal, to come, Mukas, Yobukas, Nava, Fugakagalia Ketchan. Yeah, that is so. Luca, Luca. 
egali ya isentebe ali muntebe mutelevu ngamushado banga mukazi a a tiketa kisaka bili oba mukazi oba musada kasita banga ni sente bali munte ha wai sachi bane katomfunya bulunji a a cho tiketa kisa oba mukazi oba musada wai wali ranguzi mabiruka ena kudinu abaka kitoka ba ula wala na basada echi kuyamba yena ne chi muyamba nze nkubanti egali ya isente ali munte bo mulonde buti ai shobo ne katonte geire atentia luka e byoli mjona byona bivwemu obono mukazi yakuba kalulu menta sio kuvuga bo vuga egali kandi na kasa tuve mu plan de 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 byobufisi Kulembeze <laughs> Zemona <laughs> <laughs> Nee jaluk subulo kula nkula na. Kale. Eh. Amazima gende. Eh. Omukazi yangu bakalulu. Era tibona lwachi mukalubiriza mu bukulembeze we bali kumpa bwana. Eh echo ne echo. Echalo chenda idende. Era mama, akagali kaka nukales, kaku yamba kumuvu kulembeze, miri meje chalo jitambule bulungi. Wewe bali kula damu chima mulungi. Obutaleta mpala no Kantole wo ine vipande yamba ilen kuzi viona viona ida viona viona nziba nsoni zewo lokuvanga binomba ilen dogera ngati tegera ngati enda ankula ankula na I'm sure you enjoyed that episode as much as I did. 
My name is Brenda Lynn Kirungi. Welcome to Women Rise Up Show. And today we are being joined by the guest, a very interesting lady. She has a very big profile. I'm super excited to host her today. Her name is Honorable Minister for State, Minister of State for Gender and Cultural Affairs, Peace Regis Mutuzo, who is also the district woman representative of Bunyangabu. Good afternoon viewers and thank you for having me UN women thank you very much honorable in east africa we have witnessed two female presidents the first one being uh, president sylvie kinigi of burundi from 1993 to 1994 and the second and most recent one who we are all excited about uh, president samia suhulu hassan uh, from tanzania mm -hmm. Honorable, how do you feel about this political transition and what I know that you have experience in political offices, government offices, and other kinds of offices. What are the challenges that women leaders are facing from this kind of political transition? Uh, first of all, I stand with the Tanzanians, the Tanzanians, our brothers and sisters, uh, to pay condolences for the passing on of uh, our man, uh, Magufuri. Magufuri comes from Kufuro. Kufuro is a padlock. So he was a padlock. He, was, he would open and close. Yes. So he made a lot of trans, uh, trans, uh, transformation for Tanzania. And also congratulate uh, Mama Hassan uh, Suruma uh, for this land, landmark achievement for women. Yes. Uh, of course, the period is between joy, excitement, and sorrow. Yeah. And so I cannot say I'm so excited that Tanzania has now just had a sudden trans transformation. But nevertheless, we have to move on. We have to remain strong. For women, I congratulate you. And I think we shall do it. We shall make it. And thank, congratulate Tanzanians yeah. for accepting. Because it was possible. Yeah. It was for possible for anybody to and overturn the constitution. But Tanzanians have shown us the resilience, the strength, the commitment. Yes. And I pray that she performs, we support her. We shall all support her, rally our weight and support behind uh, Mama Suruma. Yes. Because we know what Tanzania had reached, where Tanzania had reached. Yes. And we think she would be one of the strong pillars that would drive this force towards the accomplishment of their goals. Mm -hmm. We have had two ladies mm -hmm. in East Africa mm -hmm. in leadership. Yes. But also do not forget that Uganda yes. tried to test close. Yes. We had the, uh, Her Excellency Speciosa Wandera Kazewe yes. in a position of a vice president yes. in Uganda. And she was the first, I think, in the region yes. and uh, in Uganda as a vice president mm -hmm. who, is fem who was a female. Yes. No regrets about, about her time of, of tenure. Yes. No regrets also for, for Burundi. Mm -hmm. So we know that women can do it. Yes. And as much as men can, whatever God has blessed us with, he has blessed all of us. Yes. It is only the tradition, the culture that would pull us by, back. Yeah. But every time a woman gets an opportunity, she really, ex ex uh, she really exercises her potential. Yes. And we think, we don't just think. Yeah. We know. Yeah. We are getting there. Yes. We are now driving towards gender parity, 50-50. Yeah. Rwanda has made it. Yeah. In all positions of responsibility, yes. there are 50% women and 50% men. Wow. So why would Uganda not do it? We are also getting there. Uh, Honorable, what are some of the challenges that women are in these positions, especially like for yourself, face when you transition into the offices that you get? They are competing demands. Yeah. As a woman, you're expected to have your family to raise up. Yes. Uh, we all have limited time. The limited time is 24 hours. Mm -hmm. A woman's role runs 24-7. Yes. But even then, we know that every woman, even in the, even in the villages where they're not even political positions, yes. they do work 24-7. Mm -hmm. So it is our, work, our responsibility to adjust. So the challenges are not really big. They are mindset. Yeah. 
if you just remove the mindset from challenges, you would have it the same way, the same ride with what a man or any other person would have. Yes. Uh, we also know that the, in the politics now, mm -hmm. there are a lot of demands. Mm -hmm. And the demands women face go beyond what a woman can only do. Because there are these gender demands where you feel you must do and work hard towards supporting women and uplifting them. Yes. But also our counterparts have their pressure and weight put on women yes. to ensure that they do what even the uh, constituents, a male or a a a a a a any other male would have done. Yes. So, but we have also shown that we can manage both. Yes. So for those who have survived uh -huh. and maintained being in politics or even leadership, yes. even if you're holding any office, these demands can move in a time. So I think the issue is about mindset. For as long as our minds are inclined towards realizing that we can do it, yes. and we remove the idea of challenges, yes. that you know it is difficult, it is difficult. Yes. Forget about the difficulty. It is manageable. That is what it is. You just bring the whole cake and ensure that you apportion it. Different directions, different time, different this, and that's all. So I am not thinking about challenges and mounting them so big. Mm -hmm. In your eyes, if they become so big, indeed it will be an uphill task. But if it becomes as easy as a slope, mm -hmm. like every other person has gone through it, then it is possible. Uh, it's not avoidable. Yeah. Male engagement strategy is not anything can avoid. Yeah. Because somebody must understand why a woman should also take the lead. And should also be convinced mm -hmm. we don't intend to leave anyone behind. For us, as a women movement struggle, mm -hmm. we consider men as not only brothers but our sons. We also consider them as our husbands. We consider them as our fathers. So there is no single day we have ever thought that the woman movement should leave a man behind. It has never been there. We have always thought about gender parity equal, one on another. That's why we, 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 we withdrew mm -hmm. the thinking that behind every, uh, every man's success there is a strong woman. No, it is by side by side. Yes. It should be side by side. It is side by it. side. <laughs> I love that. So there's nothing, there's no one behind the other. Mm -hmm. Everybody is supporting the other. Yeah. So that is what we want people to really appreciate. Mm -hmm. The God who created us and gave us the same support, the same mindset, the same ability. Mm -hmm. And this has proven it. Yes. We have demystified the traditional and cultural norms that tied a woman in a box and a corner and undermined her and gave her specific responsibilities and not go beyond them. Yes. Science and technology also has amplified this. Yes, that's true. Because even on a big war, you don't need guns. You don't need a lot of energy to shoot guns. You just need to have the correct method to have the, same, the right gadgets, yes, the, right the right technology, the right uh, strategy to hit. Women are also very peaceful. Even in their approaches, they are also very patient people. So it is not difficult yeah. for a woman to handle whatever situation, whatever circumstances. So I believe that in this circumstance, we should uh, re uh, emulate actual what UN Women is doing. UN Women has 50% male. You know, the, you know, the title is UN Women, but it employs 50% male and 50% women. Leading by example. Leading by example. So women out there, this is your chance. And we are going to compete, and compete favorably. We are not only going to wait for what any other person just to offer. Yeah. We are just going to go for everything that comes around as an opportunity. And the idea is, after we have convinced men. Conviction is on daily basis. And that's what men have to realize. 
We are not competing for heaven's sake. We are only making your lives better. When a woman is well placed, the family is well placed. The family is safe. When you don't threaten their existence, they open up for you to have everything. When you give them an opportunity, they bring back home and your burden becomes less. Mm -hmm. So our desire is to ensure that everybody is comfortable and we are living peacefully. So as long as we remove the idea of competition, the idea of imagination, mm -hmm. that that is how far a woman can go, then we shall be addressing issues of parity. And for parents out there, it is a very strong appeal that even for our daughters who have not, who have gotten pregnant, who have had early, uh, marriage challenges, give them another chance. Because for a girl who got, who got pregnant, there was a boy who impregnated her. How has he been affected? So let's, pan let's not punish our own daughters. But we have to continue counseling. Counseling every day that passes. It's a mindset matter. And we have to take it a very long way. You know, this women movement has not lasted for a very long time. And specifically in Uganda, it is as young as maybe 20, 30 years. So for us to have moved to this level, and we don't want to settle for less. No, we are not settling for less until we are there. We'll get there. That's when we shall get there. And we have to get there together. Um, Honorable, before I close this interview, what message, if you had just one message to give to all women leaders across all sectors, we have managers, we have CEOs, we have church leaders, uh, women church leaders, all women, what's that one message you want them to go away with from this episode? I would encourage them to not settle for less. The affirmative action, the feeling of 30% for women, that is too little. We must come out ourselves and don't wait for people to push you. Just desire to move and run. If there is any advert that runs, present yourself. Do not fear that I have a million and one people to compete with. Competition favors everybody and it will favor women first. So let us not settle for less. Let us also encourage other young girls. For those in position of responsibility, I want to call upon you to encourage others. Have around 10 girls behind you that will emulate you and celebrate you as a role model. So we have to get a chain of role models behind us and open space for others to come. Wow. You had it right from the horse's mouth. This was the interview that we had today with the Honorable Minister of State for Gender and Cultural Affairs, Peace Regis Mutuzo. Catch us next time on the next episode. I'm still your host, Brenda Lin Kirungi. Women rise up, don't miss the next show.